everyone, welcome to Lao Yoga. Today I'm going to show you a technique to deeply open the hips, the stretch the hip flexors for better splits and also it's good for back bend. So let me show you how to do it. Um, you'd better to practice on the soft ground like uh, carpet, like grass, but uh, you, if your knees are okay, if your flexibility are okay, you can practice on the ground. Also, you can um, prepare like a tower to protect your knees, okay? This is very important. Don't get injured um, when you practice yoga or other exercise. And then before this practice, you probably need some warm up, like do some salutation. So let me show you uh, the, uh, the 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 technique for opening the deeply open the hips. So get into the force, force, and then take a deep inhale to downward facing dog. Nice and stretch your body. Take a deep inhale, raise the right leg upward. You can get into the squeeze. First, so allow the right toes point toward the sky. And exhale, move the right foot forward to the right hand. And lower down the left knee, left knee on the ground. And then straighten the, the trunk. You can put a towel under your left knee. And when you are here, there are some very important things you need to um, pay attention. First, the right knee, never beyond the right ankle. I saw a lot of videos, even very, you know, excellent yoga teachers, they show this way to stretch their body. I don't think this is good for the knee. So, the right knee, never beyond the right ankle is the first. And the second, let the head squarely face to the front, squarely. So the left hip forward, right hip backward. And the third, as I said already, I said already, protect your left knee. So when you are here, allow the hips sink down. Take the inhale, exhale. You can already feel the stretching in the left hip flexor. And then take the inhale, raise the left knee, allow the left toes point upward, and then reach the right arm backward, and the right hand hold the left ankle, and then left hand hold the left ankle also, and first stretch both arms, open your heart, allow the hips. Sink down, take deep inhale, exhale, sink down, take deep inhale, and exhale, pour your left heel close to the buttocks. So right now you can feel here it's burning. And then release. You can feel much deeper right now. I, I can stretch my, my hips. So you can do more, like two or three run, and then get into the uh, right hamstring stretch first, and then get into the splits. So when you're in splits, you need to adjust your hips. So your hips mostly face to the front squarely and then palms together in the heart center and then raise the arms upward and then release. Let's do another side. Downward facing dog. Inhale with the left leg upward. Nice this breath here. Exhale, left foot forward. 
right knee down, raise the trunk upward, adjust the hips, face to the front squarely, don't allow the left knee beyond the left ankle, protect the right knee, so three things you need to pay attention, and then raise the right foot upward, right toes point upward, and reach the left arm backward, right arm back, backward. Inhale, stretch your arms first of your heart, and allow the head sink down, exhale, inhale, opening, stretch, and exhale, pour the right heel close to the buttocks. And then release. You can do one more round. And then allow the head sinking down. You can feel. This is really help. And then get the left hamstring stretch. And then get into the space. So when you are speed, adjust your hips. Right hip forward, left hip backward. So straighten the trunk upward and then palms together, reach upward and exhale relax. Thank you for joining me today. Have fun with the yoga practice. See you next time. Namaste.